Yeah, now I can hear you. Seven o'clock. Perfect. Perfect timing. So we go live in three, two, one. Go live. Almost signing in. Yes, welcome. Yet another Saat Ki Baat. This is Vandana Jo. The privilege of hosting. And today we are going to be talking important by it. And where are the other all looking for an alternative? So we have got bath and beauty products. When we talk products, we each have our own favorite. Go into a supermarket or a store, we know which aisle to go. But at home, we all it is uh, chemical free, whether it is skin whether our skin is going to react to it. And we normally do not do anything about it till the reaction actually happens. So um, when when these things happen, then we scout around and look out for organic and chemical free products. Now, again, there is a catch over here. And I have always personally, I have always wondered whether you can have products which are which have a shelf life and are apparently completely organic and chemical free. So to ex understand a little bit more about that and probably break a couple of myths, I have with me a very beautiful lady who is uh, who's all the way, who's talking to us all the way from Ahmedabad. And the lady is uh, Mrs. Kavita Yadav. She is the founder of uh, Home Boutique bath and beauty and bath products. She'll tell us a little bit more about that a little later, but let me introduce her. She is a family oriented and yet ambitious woman who has been actively achieving milestones in her career. She started the home boutique, which is a homegrown brand in 2018. The purpose of coming up with this brand was to provide the best of natural products to all the people. All the products made here are at, at Home Boutique are formulates using natural sources, essential oils, and unadulterated raw materials. Unlike regular skincare brands, Home Boutique believes in propagating the idea of using less chemicals and more natural products. So yes, this is one question which is probably answered. So apart from skin and body care, they also have an extensive range of home products such as aromatic candles, and Home Boutique is determined to deliver the best of Mother Nature for enhancing your mood. So, so with so welcome, Kavita, and I am. It's my honor to have, have you on Saat Ki Baat. Please, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Very happy in, to get this. My humble invitation. Thank you so much. So, thank and you. without wasting uh, any further. The time, let me just go right into the questions. Great, so, so let me go right into the questions. Why, Kavita, why did you venture into this business of making homemade bath and beauty products? Now, I no, want to know the why, I, the history behind Yeah, your I actually just started for fun as a hobby and then i came to know how many people are fooling around with you know 100 percent natural and 100 percent organic and all and i realized there's nothing you know there are very few products which can be 100 percent organic or natural like salts or like you know oils and that can be done but soaps definitely there's a lie inside uh, there's creams they need emulsifiers even the body butters, which they claim are only butters, they are em emulsified at times. And big, huge brands are claiming, you know, natural. But the as per law also, above 85% natural products are called natural. They get the acclamation of, you know, natural thing. So that is misused, basically. So I thought, let me, you know, introduce people to natural stuff and plus tell them that 85% to 95% natural hai, usse zada kuch na kuch. You need some preservative, you know, instead of playing with somebody's skin, you need 
प्रिजर्वेटिव और डिस्टेबलाइजर और समथिंग टू एड टू सो दैट वो स्टेबलाइज हो जाए सो दैट इज देर सो आई ऑलवेज क्लेम माई प्रोडक्ट की एटी फाइव टू नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट नेचुरल एंड देन आई डू यूज फ्यू प्रिजर्वेटिव एंड स्टेबलाइजर सो दैट हाउ so that is the thing i think so you started in 2018 yes yeah so 18 with the lots and okay with lots of experiments and uh, since last <laughs> <laughs> i think there's a net net issue yeah can you hear me yes that's okay guys you can keep talking Yes, I can hear you. You can keep talking. Yeah, I started in 2018 with uh, lots of experiments and lots of uh, you know new raw material, looking for raw material, good quality raw material and all. So I got my experiences, good, bad, all kind of. And now, la- since last six months, my products have been coming on shelf one by one. because i have been working formulating wow. uh, learning through lo- so many places Bas- because basically india mein you don't get a uh, proper guidance and proper courses to learn about the skin care or cosmetics maybe the on the other hand so you need to experiment a lot take your own time experience and then start so i started okay. with uh, 2018 but 6 months back only i have started okay. formally okay uh now tell me what is the kind of setup that is re- required to start such a business i mean you must have started it from your home laboratory or from your home kitchen yeah But i yeah i started you wanted to start what is the kind of setup that is required look i started with a, a kitchen only and kept one room for all these stuff but then uh, you know few utensils are required one uh, electric hot plate is required that's the only thing and the raw material so you can start up uh, with uh, as good as 10000 amount not more than that but now when i have expanded with i have you know formulated and i am making number of products different products then i had to add some few uh, small machines and all and i have uh, rented a bungalow next to me so that i can keep the stuff so one whole room is with uh, filled with all the raw material and the thing so uh but yes like i'm making bath bombs so i have a bath bomb machine when i am having uh, soaps or oh, something okay. so i have uh, you know the double boil double boiler and all so few small small stuff which is required jab chota hota hai to you can you know work with a small amount on the normal gas and all but when you need a, a bigger larger uh, production so you need thoda bahut small machinery is required so by now i think i have okay. spent around 12 to 15 lakhs into the business okay since but since mainly, 2018 you mean yeah but uh, mainly mainly in the raw material only because when okay. you go for organic stuff when you go for natural thing na it it costs the essential oils okay. and all which is very costly okay uh, so so how do you procure your raw materials where do you what is the market that you go to um is is it available freely or uh, do you have difficulty even sourcing raw material it is difficult for ro- sourcing raw material why because uh, people like me who has a small setup maybe 15 lakhs is nothing in front of big brands so you know when you go for the good essential oil uh, vendor he will say maybe you have to have uh, 10 liters so that is a big thing because uh, look essential oil which comes around you know say 15000 to 
and they are saying 10 liters which is not going to be used at your end so then you have to have some midway people that you have to club with people that you, i am buying 10 uh, 10 liters and if you want to share so that kind of you know barter thing sharing those things happen a lot so but still for career okay. oils you yes. you can afford to have 50 liters yes. yeah <laughs> so there are few things which you get easily there are few things which is difficult <laughs> wow okay <laughs> kahan rakhenge ye <laughs> kahan rakhenge ye that is a big problem because you really okay, now my I'll whole ask you a question, big room which is really uh, uh, which might not seem very <laughs> wow so you are in amdavad you have the privilege of having a huge home big bungalows beside your bungalow so you can afford that <laughs> i don't know how yeah. people in mumbai or any other metro city with and we live in small flats i don't know how people can do that but then yes and there is a will there is always a way uh, so i'm going to ask you another question now how mm -hmm. Uh, as somebody who is making these uh, organic products uh, and um, how would you re recommend uh, or would you promote the dadi ji ke nuskes that we have always used and applied you think that there is some science to nuskes also uh in fact i would uh, rather say that i respect dadi ji ka nuska a lot and uh, the thing is why because they are fresh uh, ingredients which are used and they have lots of they had been using it since years so lots of experience had gone inside so the thing is these days we are lucky enough to get uh, you know natural extracts uh, the uh, if you say banana ka face pack if somebody is using or the hair pack somebody is using or say onion ka hair pack somebody is using so we can definitely get uh, oil based extract the water based extract the powdered extract so all three can be the options to make a pack and you matlab um, we can deliver it uh, with those things so but uh, people have definitely started with dadi ka nuska and then they have you know modified it in a, a better way with extracts and with definitely some preservative so that the shelf life is better because you can't be using banana uh, paste for um, more than a day and yeah, the true true so that's how yeah. so ideally our dadi ji used to used to use the nuskes that they had because they did not have uh, the provision for getting uh, uh, you know um, great quality extracts and that is why they Yeah, suggested what they did, and uh, no harm in trying that too. Mm, now tell me, uh, what is the average lifespan or shelf span of a product that uh, claims to be hundred uh, percent organic or chemical free? Look, if uh, we are having some uh, dry uh, product, which may be, uh, you know. Uh, powdered uh, face pack or powdered hair pack or something like that or hair oil those can be 100% organic and they can be uh, you know they can uh, stay good for maybe 18 months to 2 years depending on the uh, products we have used the raw material we have used okay but when we say cream and all they definitely need uh, preservatives which people they okay. claim that it is eco cert and uh, the natural in, uh, preservatives are also available but i have a doubt so i prefer to use a good quality preservative which is you know which will keep the product at least 2 years it will be in a good condition to use so it depends on ingredient to ingredient and the product to product okay Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so besides using these uh, emulsifiers and um, uh, preservatives, you are also using um, uh, perfumes and you know to give it the bit, aroma. Yes. And and also maybe you're adding colors to it now these are also uh, these are organic. also not are organic, organic. So yeah so or, that is no they? uh, because they, i have they, wondered they are, always yeah if if you are uh, using the uh, extracts uh, then it, it gives you a nice feel uh, and if you are using uh, essential oil they give a lovely fragrance as well so i as far as uh, possible i avoid using uh, fragrances uh, i avoid using the uh, artificial colors like in soaps i mostly use the you know neem powder moringa powder or say uh, natural clays are there their chocolate clay there's this coffee this chocolate you can use so if that is there because soap may if you put the natural ingredient as well it won't harm it it will stay for uh, you know more than 2 to 2.5 2 years uh, like cold process soaps not the uh, melt and pour so cold process to, uh, soaps may you can use uh, you know natural clays and all so th that will stay but in creams if you need you need to have uh, some essential oil and extracts rather than having you know the uh, fragrances or colors or anything and the white will go white or off white will, we can still manage okay okay um is is this one of the reasons why uh, products which are, are uh, uh, uh slightly more expensive than regular products because they are yeah. produced not in that big a bulk yeah we can't uh, produce in bulk uh, plus if we are using essential oils definitely it the prices goes high if we are uh, using colors it is like cheaper if we are using you know natural uh, uh, powders for coloring and all so it the prices definitely goes high so it it makes a difference uh when when we make a, a cold process soap uh it has to be cured for at least uh, two months then only a person can use it safely so the time you know the uh, ready product is you know people may buy and use it and like that but we if we make cold process soap it will take at least 2 months to cure and ready to use so it makes a difference then okay so uh, is that also why your uh, uh, generally your uh, uh, packaging is also slightly different or that is just uh, at a gimmick <laughs> um it depends the people who are actually looking for organic products they feel that uh, they should be having eco friendly packaging that is the reason otherwise uh, you can definitely pack in plastics you can definitely uh, you know that does not make a product non organic or not natural it's just that uh, the people who have the taste of organic or you know they uh, lot many um, uh, corporate people are asking me and i have been uh, sending the yeah. gift uh, hampers with organic packaging uh, which is also there like but the transportation and all because if we uh, pack in glass bottles it is difficult the uh, weight matters the uh, transportation may it breaks and all so handling matters and all so that is the reason uh, people who are uh, selling only in the city or in the exhibitions they can afford to have eco friendly packaging mm -hmm. otherwise we have to mix and match kind of stuff that that happens Okay. Okay. Uh, 
uh, how, how big is Indian market for uh, India product? How big is it? It is huge. It is huge and uh, it's a it big, like huge ocean. Indian. If you uh, want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Indian market, you said, na? It is huge. Yes, yes. People are people are more aware of the uh, you know uh, the natural stuff, the organic stuff, and uh, they can they they are ready to spend. I must say, Lush had come to Ahmedabad uh, say around uh, ten years back, and they had to close the store very soon because they couldn't afford it because people were not ready okay. to. Uh, spend money on that lush soaps because it was very costly. But these days, people do come that we don't mind paying you, but do give us the natural stuff. So it is it is emerging, and the awareness is coming. Uh, you know, more more and more, it is like people are getting open for buying organic stuff, natural stuff. So this is a good time but to if you compare venture. If Yes, yes, absolutely. But if you compare a, a foreign brand which sells organic products and an Indian brand, is there a price? Is it a huge price difference? How is it? Because when they come to India, we have to also account uh, the other uh, calculations and the export and all of that. And um, in comparison, do you think Indian products, uh, organic products in India are slightly more affordable or uh, are they on par? No, it is more affordable because, uh, you know, uh, there's less amount of, uh, say, investment is done on the advertisement part. There's less amount of uh, investment on the export kind of the, the things which are imported. The import duty is there. So there, there are a lot many factors which, you know, lessen the investment. So okay. when you... When you get into handmade, uh, homemade products, definitely it is cheaper than the foreign brands. But then we have to compete with people like Lux, Lux Ka Sabun. You can't be, uh, I think, uh, buying Lux Ka Sabun more than 30 bucks. And if I say my soap is, my soap is 350 bucks, so people still question. So yes. the competition is not with the foreign brand. The people who know the foreign brand, they definitely know the value of our products. Mm -hmm. But the people who don't know the value of the organic stuff, they, you know, we can't be competing with Lux and Lyril and all. So true, that true. makes a difference. That makes a difference. True, true. And um, uh, what is uh, uh, okay, what is the uh, overall, uh, uh, you know, uh, the kind of uh, uh, manpower that you need for your uh, setup now you are uh, you have uh, an independent place to work with and so what is the kind of manpower you need i have right now because uh, when i started i didn't had anybody i was working on my own exper uh, experimenting on my own but uh, the uh, when the work started properly, uh, I he kept on increasing, and now by now I have three uh, people uh, whole time. And when I need the more manpower, definitely I hire for uh, you know few people. Hello. Hello. So everyone, I think with this work from home that everybody else is doing, there seems to be a sudden, sudden uh, 
uh, you know, load on all the networks that uh, we have been uh, using. And uh, I'm really sorry about that. And yes, Kavita is back on, although her camera is not on. Kavita, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see you as well. Okay, your camera, we can't see you, nonetheless. Um, okay, Bhavna is asking, what is the shelf life of these? Uh, Bhavna is uh, one of our uh, regular viewers, and she always comes with questions. And uh, thank you, Bhavna, for this engaging uh, interaction that you do with us. So, yes, Kavita, Bhavna was the life of these soaps. Uh, soaps, cold process soaps, definitely it stays uh, uh, two uh, to two and a half years. It depends on uh, the uh, different kind of soaps, the different ingredients we use in the soap. But cold process soaps definitely stay for more than two years. Okay. Now, for a layman like me who doesn't understand the difference between a regular soap and a cold process soap, can you explain a little bit more? What is uh, the difference? Look, the the re regular soaps, uh, the uh, uh, soap base is readily available in the market. It depends on you. You buy sulfate free or the uh, su including sulfate, the soap base, and then you melt and you include your uh, ingredients in into it. Uh, you infuse a few essential oils, and then uh, you make a soap. You mold it and uh, the soap is ready within a few hours. And uh, for okay. cold process soaps, you need to mix oils and uh, the, uh, water and the ingredients, say clay or the fresh puree or um, whatever you feel like, which is you feel like Dadi Make Nuske Me, whatever ingredients you can use. You can add those ingredients in the soap. And then the lye is uh, added at the end and which starts the uh, process of soapanification. Then it, 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 it helps the uh, soap, uh, sorry, oil to convert into the soap, which takes uh, at least two months to be done. So, okay, okay. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That is... So that is 100% oils, so, uh, essential hmm. oils, and light.
harsh i don't Finally, know i don't sort of the network issues yes a big issue and uh, blame uh, anybody over here the networks are jammed <laughs> with everybody wanting to uh, you know work from home so acha has asked a question kavita ji aap kahan se hai ji and uh, daksha uh, uh, kavita is from ahmedabad and if you can uh, tell our audience where the bad you are exactly from and where they can visit you uh definitely uh, i am from gujarat ahmedabad and outskirts of ahmedabad i must say it is south bhopal uh, which is totally uh, uh, was a remote area a few years back uh i think i will have to bring this live uh, uh interview of us to a stop of ours to a stop because unfortunately the network seems to be keeping on going and uh, um i don't know whether it is from my side or from kavita side but um uh before we end i'm going to end this session now but before we end i just wanted to tell our audience that uh, uh considering this lockdown and people staying at home and wanting to develop their skills and lajja be a big believer in women uh, upgrading themselves and learning new skills uh, we have uh, decided we have planned to invite uh, kavita to run a workshop for us on we'll do a zoom workshop and uh, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all of you also on board and um, kavita has graciously accepted the invitation that we uh, you know sent to her and uh, uh, she will be uh, conducting a a live workshop on uh, you know soap making So yes uh 